Okay, so I'm in a Twitter conversation with the greatest atheist of all time, Paul Gia. And God is creating him, you know, pretty good atheist. <laughs> He's an atheist. And some guy that left is philosopher. Now, starting right off the bat, let's just say a couple of things. Free speech is a principle. It is a principle that we need to adhere to in a civil society because that is the only means by resolving differences. But it is the only means we have to, for which to resolve differences peaceably. Free, the principle of free speech. Now, the analogy I used was not a bad analogy. That's ridiculous. I, it doesn't really matter if, if, if private companies buy public roads in real life. The point of the analogy is that it's a network that everybody needs. So anyways, okay, you don't like the analogy. I'll use a different one from the real world. There is a private company in Southern California known as Southern California Edison. It's a private company, yes, but they sell a public utility. YouTube is a private company, yes, but they, but they are in charge of a public platform that as of right now is the only public platform in town. BitChute doesn't really count, doesn't have the reach, doesn't have the audience. So if you want to broadcast in the public sphere in the United States of America videos, you want to upload your own content, it's got to be on YouTube. So yes, it's a private company, but it's a private company that so far is the only one that owns the means to the, to, to, pu to the public sphere space to the public cyberspace Instagram is growing if three or four other companies pop up to that are legitimate com competition we won't be having this conversation because it won't make a difference but as of right now here is the difference Southern California Ed that's a private company yes but they sell a public utility something that everybody in Southern California uses and needs so if they have arbitrary terms of service a la YouTube these are our terms of service, and we reserve the right to, you know, change them arbitrarily without explaining them to anybody, which is exactly what YouTube does. And they started like, okay, you can't have electricity. People would be freaking out, and justifiably so. People should be freaking out about this with YouTube. And you, the atheist, have a dog in this fight more than I do, more than anybody else in town. I'll explain that in a second. So that's the difference. Yes, it's a private company. But it's a private company that we have given the means f to control the only public platform right now. And they are abusing it under this vague banner of terms of service. They and they alone decide what those terms of service are. And the, the code of hate speech, they and they alone decide what is hate speech. Now, if you don't recognize the risk to you, the atheist, honestly, you guys all should be free speech purists. I thought you were. You know, ACA, it's called the Free Thought Blog. Free Thought Blog. You guys used to be free speech purists, but now you're not. If you don't recognize the danger to you, let me clarify it, okay? You don't mind that they took Alex Jones down because you don't like his noxious ideology. Okay, that's a really scary precedent. And if this isn't already happening, if this, this is probably happening already, but if it isn't, a year from now, they're going to take down genetically modified skeptic. And they're going to take down telltale atheists. And they're going to use the same sort of slippery banner. Well, it's hate speech. Because those, those, I, I just, those are just two for instances. Because they criticize Islam. Muslims are going to get hip to the fact that they can, they can bombard YouTube and, and say, well, they're violating terms of service and complain 50,000 times and get channels taken down under the same sort of slippery, vague banner. Well, it's hate speech. You say, well, you know, it's not hate speech. I agree it's not hate speech. But some of the Muslims might beg to differ. That's the point. That's the point. Free speech is supposed to be a principle that you adhere to in almost any and all situations with very, very, very rare exceptions to the fact. Inciting of violence. That's it. And even then, I'd be a little bit wary of that. Because YouTube is deciding what incites violence and what, and what doesn't. And as they've already proven, they are not up to the task. They took down Skylar, Skylar Fiction's channel. I don't know if they took his channel down or a video down, but they took it down. So let me also clarify. First of all, they're not up to this task. One. Two. They and they alone decide what hate speech is. That's not a good precedent at all. And, and, you know, you, the atheist, have as much of a dog in the fight, in fact, more so than most people. Because last time I looked, atheism was still a quote-unquote controversial opinion. And you can be taken down under these same slippery hate speech 
your channels are going to be struck if they aren't already. There's some guy I was talking to on Twitter last night, orange something or other, or purple something or other. I don't remember exactly who it was, but he was talking about having a channel struck or a video taken down. I don't know. I didn't look that much into it, but this may already be happening to atheists. Ask around, I bet it is. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, you criticize Islam too, too stridently. That's hate speech. You cannot give that much power to a corporate entity that cannot be trusted with that type of power. And right now they're the only public platform in town. Now, Godless Cranium said we could break them up. That's, I'm fine with that. That's a perfectly legitimate solution. Break them up so that they have real competition. But right now, here's the difference. They aren't really a private company in the way that people are using this the term. It's a private company that owns the sole, the sole road to the public platform. That's what I was pointing out with the Manhattan analogy. It's a perfectly legitimate analogy, by the, by the way. But okay, so the Southern California Edison one is better. What's the difference? I need the services of Southern California Edison. It's not a private company a la Walmart. Walmart starts doing something I don't like. I don't have to shop there. I don't have to buy their products. I can vote with my pocketbook, go somewhere else. YouTube, I don't like what they're doing. I've, as of right now, there's no other option. And I don't like what they're doing. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't. I think it's scary. As a free speech purist, which you all atheists should be, and I thought they were, ACA calls it free speech, free thought blog. That's what they call it. I thought you guys all were. You should be. Because you can be taken down under the same slippery banners, one, and two. You say, well, the, the ideology is noxious. So you combat the ideology. How do you do that? You put up your videos and say, this is why that is noxious, noxious ideology. This is why you shouldn't agree with Alex Jones. This is what he's saying that's wrong. And you, public, you put up your own counter-arguments. That is the only way to combat ideology that you disagree with in a free and civil society. Other than that, you are not combating the ideology. You are just removing its right to broadcast, which means it's still there, still being practiced by a whole bunch of people. It's just being practiced in secret. You aren't doing anything. You aren't, it's not helping the situation. You want people to broadcast what they actually feel, see, and believe. That's how a free and civil society operates. People say what they actually put, put up things that they actually believe. Then you see what people really think and really how they really act. You take away their right to broadcast that because you don't like what they're broadcasting. First of all, that violates the entire principle of free speech. The whole point of free speech is protecting the free speech of people you disagree with, whose ideology is noxious. Other than that, it's not free speech. Nobody needs to protect the free speech of, of people who say things that we all agree with. The public sphere needs to protect free speech, and YouTube is operating in the public sphere. And we all have an interest in making sure that they do a much better job of not censoring people, because right now they are censor happy. And if you don't see the danger to atheism, let me clarify, it's dangerous for atheism. Promise. Promise. Last time I looked, it's still a quote-unquote controversial opinion. So... I'm a free speech purist. I honestly think it is in your best interest to be a free speech purist. But at least recognize that the private company thing doesn't really apply in this situation. Because it's a pr private company, yes, that so far is the only one who owns the highway to the platform that we all use. Five other platforms, five other, you know, video platforms of equal size and I won't care. Breaking up, breaking up would do it. Breaking up YouTube would do it. I'm fine with that. Oh, and one other point of clarification. If we're talking about in terms of the Steven Crowder thing, I don't really know the situation that well. I never really heard of that guy before the, the controversy. But all I'm talking about is taking the channel down. That's it. That's all I'm talking about. I don't care about demonetizing the channel. That's a perfectly legitimate thing for YouTube to do. We don't agree with the ideology behind this channel. Therefore, they can broadcast on our platform, but they cannot use our platform to make money for themselves. That's perfectly fair. And that falls into the thing of a private company can do what it wants. Private companies can't just do what they want. 
I can't run a restaurant, especially if it's in the public sphere. I can't run a restaurant and decide, well, no gay people can come into my restaurant. And no blacks either. We've already decided this as a culture. Private companies can't just do whatever. It doesn't work like that. It works like that within boundaries and limits, just like everything else in life. And this isn't really a private company in a pure sense of the word. It's a private company running a public platform that we all use. So, for point of clarification, I have no problem with them demonetizing. Demonetizing is perfectly legitimate. We YouTube, they, they could even, I would have no problem with them posting Alex Jones's video and saying, we object to this. This isn't, this doesn't abide by our terms of service and we think this is lousy, lousy, this guy is lousy and is fake news. Having some sort of banner like, don't, this, this is junk according to YouTube. I have only object to them taking it down because it's the only broadcast place in town. That's the censor, that's the, that's the problem. Taking it down, that's the only thing I object to. Demonetizing is fair. Taking it down is a bad precedent. That's all. Amen.